uh, quantity. Yeah, actually, are you actually making profit from yes. what you are doing here? Yeah. I have the privilege of meeting uh, top people in government, and then also as a young person, we also try to dialogue and see how uh, we can uh, uh, bring in the youth into uh, agriculture. And then, you know, before now, we've discussed how, what the governor can do in the state in order to bring in the youth and then create jobs for the youth, as, as is seen in other places. And I believe maybe after now, we are going to communicate that uh, to the governor. Maybe in, me, me in person, I might not be able to reach the governor direct or the commissioner of agriculture, but as top person in government, uh, I think uh, the governor should uh, set up a fish farm cluster just as is done in other states like in Abuja, like in Bayelsa. And then they are planning to do that in a Boeing state, which uh, some I think maybe I'm going to be somewhere involved. Where they want to set up a fish farm cluster with ponds, models, a, a lot in thousands, where they give them to different youth, maybe take one, take one, take one. What government is just to do is to provide security to provide water and then the remaining vast land they use it to plant rice that will be good for the in the rice project that the governor or i think the that farm is uh, the farm there is, is is ongoing and maybe the one in oran i think i heard there is a rice farm in oran so they should do things like that and then flush the wastewater from the farm into the rice farm Certainly, they, they will cultivate more than they have been cultivating yeah, because now. Because it provides a yeah. kind of manure. Yeah, it provides organic manure. Yeah, organic manure to the rice farm. So I think uh, I would like you to communicate that uh, to the yes. governor. And then uh, we in Fish Academy, we appreciate the wonderful works of the governor. Uh, and then certainly, we are ready to work with uh, Aquai no, State Governor. Governor Emmanuel listens to ideas, especially <laughs> from young men. Now, he wants young men to bring ideas. So. <laughs> So yeah. Definitely, yeah. I will communicate that. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Fish Academy. It's your humble friend, Kufre Ibarra Francis, founder of First Fish Academy, and with me. Is a senior special assistant to the governor of Aquaibom State yeah. on technical matters and due process. And uh, Ufot Ebong. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, um, and uh, Ufot Ebong is someone that uh, I myself have been following on the social media, someone that is doing uh, very, very well when it comes to agriculture in the state. Recently, I saw a post of him uh, showing us uh, his tilapia and then every other thing. We've been seeing pictures and videos from his farm. And today we say so let's make it down to the state, being that I am also from Aquaibom State. Yes, correct. And I said, uh, we, being that I'm from here, let me also make it down and see one of our son, wow. Elder, that is doing wonderfully well in terms of agriculture, uh, which is the key thing uh, every individual needs to do in terms to grow in uh, in terms of uh, to grow their pocket and every other thing because. When you provide food to the people, certainly you're also providing food to yourself. And then, as I always say on my channel, uh, every other thing can fade out. But when it comes to food, you can stop eating, you can stop buying clothes, you can stop buying shoes, you can stop buying anything, but you cannot stop eating. You, it, that was, uh, that uh, came to play during the COVID-19 stuff, when, no matter the fact that they shut down shops for everything, but shops for food were, were open. So agriculture has come to stay, and then uh, Eda Ebon, nice meeting yeah, you in person. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, what actually uh, gave you the mind of uh, going into agriculture? Being that you're in government, I think that should be okay for you. Well, uh, that is a good thing about the Nigerian constitution. Yeah. It permits uh, public officers okay. to actually engage in agribusiness. Okay. So it's not, there's no conflict of interest. Okay. So even if you're in public office, yeah. You can go into agriculture. Right. The constitution permits that. Okay. But uh, now you ask why. You know, I worked with uh, Shell for about 25 years, wow. Shell International, okay. and before I joined public service okay. under Governor Odu Emmanuel. Okay. And so, in 2015, Governor Odu Emmanuel brought uh, what we call the Dakada Creed okay. to Kwaibom State. Okay. So, and then in one line, line six of that creed says, rise to the faith of our resources. Okay. 
beyond what others see, okay. human and intellectual. Okay. And then you come, if you take that message and reflect on it, you see that there's nothing that we don't have. Yeah. And also, as the governor normally says, all you need is what you, all you have. We have clement weather, yeah. rainfall throughout the year. This is November. We still had heavy rain. rain. Seafall, yeah, sure. But go to the far north. It's a patch land, yeah. close to desert. Yeah. And, and there are the people supplying the south with food, yeah. like onions, tomatoes, and every uh, vegetables, yeah. at a very high cost because of irrigation. Yeah. And so we are just sitting down here folding our hands. So, in 2016, when we were doing a Kwaibom Enterprise and Employment Scheme, we decided to see whether we can get our young people to go into agribusiness. Okay. But we didn't want to go into those big things like uh, palm oil, rubber, cocoa, yeah, that, that would take. So he yeah. said, these quick yielding things so people can quickly create wealth for themselves and get off the streets and into making wealth for themselves. Yeah. So we experimented with 22 common vegetables okay. that either two were imported into this state. Onions, tomatoes, even pepper, cucumber. Cucumber is a place we used to buy, stop and buy along Calabar, Rupan yeah. Road. But now we actually export cucumber to other states. Wow. So having experimented with the 22 common vegetables, you can still see one here. This is experiment to see whether it grows here. Look at it. Okay. And you can, I can cut it for you. Look at it. Yeah. Wow. See, this one, uh, this is uh, an eggplant. Wow. And these are things that are coming from other states. But look at it here. So wow. it's doing very well. And then we go into massive commercial yeah. production. cultivation. Yeah. So having done that, and a lot of young persons needed to see how it's done. Okay. So I created small farms everywhere across the states. Okay. And then I decided I should also have my own farm. Sure. This is Jagaja Integrated Farm. Jagaja. Jagaja J A J A C A J A. All right. Jagaja. All right. Integrated Farm. All right, uh, Tao, you've explained a lot. And then we've seen, just as you said, you experimented with a lot of vegetables, which means this is an experimental farm. No, 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 no. Now, this is a purely commercial farm. Okay, this is an Because, commercial as you farm. can see, this, uh, this is the nursery. Okay. We have several nurseries. This is about 10 hectares of land. We are just standing at the uh, yeah. farm office. Okay. And this is one of the nurseries. Those things that look like grasses are okay. actually onions. Wow. In wow. the nursery, okay. and when we move them from there, we can either do them in bags like this, okay. these uh, onions, or you can plant them in the field like okay. that. We have okay. about one and a half hectares of uh, onions down there, like this okay. Okay. and so onions you can either wait for six months to harvest very big bulbs, okay. or you can sell them off right. at tender ages as spring onions. Okay. So we have a ready market for all these things, and so we are doing that. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the government can only succeed when people key into the dream of uh, the leader. Yep. So I'm happy that you also key into the uh, agenda of the governor, uh, Governor Udom Emmanuel. And then uh, things like this are happening in the state. And then it should be a, a form of an en encouragement to the youth. Because I myself have been to different places and then I see a lot of people are doing things. But it seems to be right here, people... <laughs> don't know that there is uh, money in agriculture, especially uh, yeah, when it comes to crop production and then livestock, in fact, mostly livestock production. <laughs> you know, I also rear goods. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, and I think uh, I saw that. I rear so. goods. I have a good ranch All right. and, and I rear goods. Yeah. So um, we're going to move around so that we see uh, other things that you have because we can see uh, pepper. Pepper here. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, can also I can also see the nursery, the nursery where you plant, yeah, where you grow your nursery. onions before transferring uh, yes. it. So these are remnants of pepper that has been transplanted. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So these are remnants. We clear them up and do. Now you see onions here in the field. Okay. These are all onions. These are onions. And yes. then these are um, uh, how many months now? This is about uh, one one month. Oh, one, oh, this oh. one month. Yes. So these are all onions. These okay. Ones. And okay. as you go down different that lady there is applying a, a Fertil small fertilizer. fertilizers all right yeah okay so yeah is a huge farm at least uh, it's, it's very big you know, uh, say 10 10 hectares 10 hectares just wow. move around yeah 
So, so um, that section, unfortunately, we've just finished harvesting tomatoes. Okay. Down there in the behind the bush. Okay. And then you can even see groundnut. We okay. harvest groundnut here too. Yeah. Uh, commercial quantity. Yeah. Actually, are you actually making profit from yes. what you are doing here? Yeah, well, first, you know, in agri business, when you talk of profit, and yeah. it like in any other business, yeah, you must have a business plan. Sure. And there's a period that you actually put in money. Yeah putting money until you start having the return on the, the return. investment. Sure. So we are still there in the process of putting money. Okay. Very soon we start uh, reaping from the what return. we should. Yes, right. yes. Yeah. You know, also having seen all that I've been doing on my channel when it comes to fish farming, uh, I think uh, you said, oh, fine, France, I, I would like to see you. And then you also say, ah, please, if I have time, I should come to you. And then we've discussed earlier and you say you want to Yes. Uh, uh, what are your plans, your future plans for this plan place? We plan to, you know, you know, this is an integrated farm. Okay. You can see if, over there, there's a monkey. Yeah. You know, being in the forest, yeah. I deal with hunters. I okay. see them. Okay. They kill the, the mothers and the babies are just stranded. Okay. And I have love for animals. So okay. I've been accumulating animals. If you come to my compound, you have all, all sorts of animals, so okay. many. And then I needed to talk to the Nigerian Zoological Society. I spoke with the president, Mr. Francis Abiyoye. Okay. You are namesake. Okay. I told him that I have this problem. What do I do? Yeah. Can I start building houses and putting them? Okay. Would I contravene any law uh, of zoo or whatever? He said, yes, that I should register, which I've registered. Okay. And I decided that we should have what we call Jagaja Zoo. Oh, Jagaja yeah. Zoo. 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 All right. So we would now create an area, very natural environment. For example, if we have monkeys, we will allow those trees to be there for them to live there okay. and then fence round. So okay. that is the plan for a section of this. Okay. And then you realize that if you have that, most of the things or waste from the uh, agri section yeah. can actually Serve become food. feed yeah, yeah. to those things. Animal, for, yeah. for example, uh, this thing, um, what is it called? This grass cutter yeah. eh? or, 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 or rabbits. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbits eat the husk of groundnut. Okay. These are things that we were throwing away, not yeah. knowing what to do when we harvested groundnut here in commercial quantity a lot. So the husk, what yeah. do you do with it? Even the leaves. Yeah. Can show you groundnut here. If we move a little bit, I'll show you how it looks so that you see that yeah. everything, all it, those ones will now go constitute feed for feed those animals. For animals yeah. So it becomes fully integrated. Yeah. So in, I integrate the zoo with the agri section. Okay. Okay. Then this is the granules. See uh, granules there. Okay. Right? You can see them. Yeah. You can see this. They are still young. Hmm? Yeah. They are still young. So when you harvest like this, see they are still young. Granules. Wow. Eh? Wow. They are still young. Yeah. A lot of people mm. don't know that mm. this is how they. <laughs> they are still young. Eh? <laughs> so when you harvest, yeah. so these leaves yeah. now constitute. Feed, feed for the rabbit. for the rabbit okay. and uh, grass cutters. Okay. Well, this is really an uh, integrated farm, and then uh, I think there is also cucumber. Cucumber. Uh, yeah, you can see, you can see cucumber over yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So, um, just uh, as I said, you know, because I think I've been, I have the privilege of meeting uh, top people in government. And then we also, as a young person, we also try to dialogue and see how uh, we can uh, uh, bring in the youth into uh, agriculture. And then, you know, before now, we've discussed how, what the governor can do in the state in order to bring in the youth and then create jobs for the youth, as, as is seen in other places. And I believe maybe after now, we are going to communicate that uh, to the governor. Maybe in, me, me in person, I might not be able to reach the governor direct or the commissioner of agriculture, but as top person in government, uh, I think uh, the governor should uh, set up a fish farm cluster just as is done in other states, like in Abuja, like in Bayelsa. And then they are planning to do that in a Boeing state, which uh, summer I think maybe I'm going to be somewhere involved. 
where they want to set up a fish farm cluster with ponds, models, a lot, in thousands, where they give them to different youth, maybe take one, take one, take one. What government is just to do is to provide security, to provide water, and then the remaining vast land, they use it to plant rice. That would be good for the, in the rice project that the governor, or I think the, that farm is, uh, the farm there is, is, is ongoing. And maybe the one in Oran, I think I heard there is a rice farm in Oran. So if they should do things like that and then flush the wastewater from the farm into the rice farm. Certainly they, they will cultivate more than they have been cultivating yeah, Because now. it provides a yeah. kind of manure. Yes, yeah, provides organic, yeah, manure. organic manure in the rice farm. So I think uh, I would like you to communicate that. Yeah, to the yes. governor and then uh, we in Fish Academy we appreciate the wonderful works of the governor uh, and then certainly we are ready to work with uh, Aquarius no, no, State no, Governor. No, Emmanuel listens to ideas especially <laughs> from young men. <laughs> he wants young men to bring ideas so uh, yeah. definitely yeah. I will communicate that. All right so thank you very much Ada Ufor Tebong and then uh, I wish you success in your endeavor. As I said, it's an inspiration to the youth. They feel that, oh, to do farm work is a poor man business. The sen uh, Senator Josh Sekibo, that I visited his farm the other time, told said, no, farming can never be a poor man business. It is not. Because you invest a lot. And uh, so if you invest money in, in, uh, in, in, in agriculture, it can never be a poor man it business. It cannot be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Senator Josh Sekibo's farm that you saw, my channel, that yes. is a farm that wants to uh, uh, grow at least 12 million fish. Wow. Yeah, in River State. So there's going to be a lot of uh, food production within the south-south uh, geopolitical zone. It's the same yes. thing that he said, that you said, that is what Josh Sekibo said. Right there in the north, there's no water. I, I happened to serve in Casina where I did my three months orientation before I was redeployed. There, there is no, everywhere is dry. But you see them growing uh, uh, and irrigating, spending much on irrigation when God has given us natural water to be irrigating our plants. So I think the south, the youth from the south, south region, southwest, southeast should embrace this because certainly if they go into this, they can never complain of no and food. And then we will be yeah. self sufficient in food. Yeah, we will be self sufficient. All right. So thank you very much, Ed, uh, for the book. Nice pleasure. meeting you My pleasure. in person. Yes. All right. My All pleasure. right. All right. All right. Bye.